folks, I am on my way to the hospital to have my surgery. By the time you see this video, I will have already had it. But if you see it, that means I made it through the surgery and uploaded this. Anyway, today is uh, September the 12th, Tuesday. It's about 11 o'clock and I'm leaving, headed up towards Birmingham. And I will keep in touch and make y'all little clips here and there along the way, like I did last time. Yeah. Folks, here's cotton, well. Here's some, here's some. Here's some cows over here, check this here's out. Some cotton. Look on the right. cotton on the right. Okay, folks, we got everybody narrating that there's cotton over here on the right. Yeah. It's not snow, that's a field full of cotton. That's what your underwear is made out of, not mine. And when those <laughs> cotton balls get rotten, when those cotton balls get rotten, what? I don't remember. Oh, I forgot how the rest of it goes. <laughs> Mom's singing in the front seat there. I should clarify on that underwear thing, folks. My underwear is not made out of cotton. It's not made out of silk. No, I'm not wearing silk panties. My underwear, I don't have no underwear. I did bring some underwear for, for the hospital though because I'm gonna have you know no one of those gowns on that doesn't that goes on backwards why do they make you wear a backwards shirt that's stupid I'm putting mine on frontwards like a normal person no, anyway then my thing will hang out I'm gonna have underwear on no they won't let you wear underwear I think my underwear is made out of cotton I don't know I haven't it checked is it cotton. is made out of cotton yeah. it's made out of fruit I have some fruit loops. My, my cotton's made out of fruit of the looms. Fruit loops. Yeah, made out of fruit loops. <laughs> that wouldn't be too good. That wouldn't be comfortable wearing a underwear made out of fruit loops. You'd have a bunch of fruit loops nope, chasing you around. <laughs> you're getting hungry? Yeah. yeah, she's getting hungry talking about underwear. If you get hungry, you have a snack. Oh, if you get hungry, you have a snack. You can eat your underwear. Oh gosh, this video is going to be flagged. <laughs> well, we stopped for lunch, folks, and we got our Ruby Tuesdays on the side of the highway, so we're going to have some fresh salad. Well, folks, we did. We just got done having lunch, and that, that healthy salad I was talking about turned into a greasy bacon cheeseburger. <laughs> it was pretty good. It was. It was pretty good. Um, my sister's the only one that had salad. My mother ate a big plate of, it was supposed to be like a, a appetizer, but it was a sampler plate, and it was huge. I tell you what, she had onion rings, she had flatbread, she had some kind of a cheese uh, tomato sauce dip, she had chicken bites, and ranch dip, and uh, even mustard, honey mustard dip. It wasn't bad. I tried some of her onion rings, and it was good. I didn't eat it all. She didn't eat no, she couldn't eat it all. It was that much food there. And she tried to order this huge dessert. And we said, Ma, why don't you wait till after we eat and see if we're still hungry for dessert? Uh, and lucky thing that uh, we didn't order the dessert because wouldn't nobody be able to eat it. Anyhow, we're back on the road again. We're on I-65, headed north. Uh, the next big town I think we're going to cross will be Montgomery, Alabama. Yeah. We just left Greenville. Be back after a while, folks. Folks, I'm coming into Birmingham. And it just started raining. So we got to unload this car. Three people's crap for 10 days. 10 days worth of crap for three people. We got to unload in the rain. <laughs> and only one person, two people really can do Yeah, and only two people can really unload all this stuff because she can't do nothing. Redneck mom don't do much. She can't do a whole lot of much of nothing but cook good. She cooks pretty good. She complains real well too, don't she? Yes, yeah, she does. Yeah. Next time I build a restaurant. Next time. <laughs> Next time you build a restaurant, you better have a doggone handle inside the booth so she can pull herself in. And you got to make the seats out of conveyor belts so you can push a button to get back out 
That way you don't have to scooch yourself. <laughs> We've done figured that out. Next time my sister builds a hotel, I mean, not a hotel, a restaurant.